Hi out there in YouTube land, it's uh, Coach Mike and Monique again to show you a rotary workout. We've done the linear and lateral and we'll get stuck straight into the workout. A little bit of a warm up first. Um, six jumps, plyo jump sequence. Up and down, left and right, backwards and forwards, side to side. <laughs> Scissors, Monique's on autopilot for this one. Twisting. Crossovers, 45s, single hops, and fast 12 steps. Okay, with the weight walking twists, forwards and backwards. So we're crossing over our front leg up and back twice. So getting in the theme of rotary. Okay, hip flexor, 45 degrees. Okay, so twist across your front knee, both hands down, thumb up, head down, twist, then twist the other way. Okay, just one of each. Okay, push up side leg swings. So from push up position, we're swinging the leg under, both hands on the ground. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now show the hand off the ground version. One, two, three, four, five, Six, okay, good work. Um, seated T-spine with broomstick on the box. This is a great T-spine exercise to really uh, get the most out of your torso rotation. So as you're gonna go one, two, three, lean from that position, come upright and then lean twice. Look at that extra rotation. Okay, one, two, three, side lean, come upright and then twist more. Okay, that'll do. Okay, half kneeling side lunge. Okay, so we're kneeling on one knee. Kneeling on one knee. Kneeling on one knee. That's it. Now the other leg goes out, literally straight out from the side, and we're pushing across. So sort of a half kneeling side lunge. And the other side. Right. Shake it off. Okay, beautiful. Now we're getting to the main workout. Okay, so now we're doing uh, with a, you can use a water bottle like we've got there. Okay, um, I need to demonstrate a couple with that. So we're doing a um, squat, a sumo squat with an upper body hammer sling uh, out the back, okay? And just six is fine. Now we're doing a push up with twist. <clears throat> Again, you can do this for time, 30 on, 30 off, all for reps. So push up and twist. Push up and twist. My knee's very glad we're only doing six here. Four. No, she's a push up queen. All right, sumo into lunge with a crossover hand touch. All right, so sumo, then we twist around, lunge and touch. Sumo, twist around, lunge and touch. Yeah, okay, that's it, six of those. Lunge, touch, sumo, lunge, touch. Keeping with the theme of rotary motion. All right, going back to upper body. Now we're gonna do an incline pull up with twist. You can do that on opposite sides of your door jam. Put your feet as close to the wall as possible. So lean back and twist up. Lean back, reach and twist. Lean back, you can use a TRX here or a open door. Six each side. So lean back and reach and then pull up and twist.
Now Russian twist lying on the back. So we're doing this from bridge, bent knee bridge position. Again, use a weight or just your hands, up to you. So we bridge up and we twist across onto that shoulder. Better to have a soft surface on this one, otherwise your, your shoulder hurts a bit because you're squashing your deltoids there against the ground. Just six. All right, SLDO DL with a slight crossover arm reach. Alternating leg six. They're reaching a little bit. Good balance exercise. Three, four, five, six. Could hold the dumbbell or kettlebell in, in that hand as well. Again, makes it a little bit harder, puts an extra load on the whole system. Now we're doing a rotary lunge with the torso twist. Rotary lunge is where you start with your feet together and we're ending up at 90 degrees, like that. Okay, then we're twisting and coming up. So step back and out, feet are at 90, twist and come back. Low rotary, twist, and as you come up, and as you come up, you as you twist back, you come up. Okay, two more, twist, and come up. One more, last one, twist, and as you twist, you come back. Great work. Tear through this one. Okay, sumo surfer Joe jump twists. I call them surfer Joes, whatever. Bit of uh, vernacular here, but there we go. 212. Okay, so you can make it harder um, by going a little bit lower um, and jumping a little bit higher. So the torso stays facing the front and we're twisting our hips around. Next is um, marching elbow to knee, opposite knee. Okay, so six of those. Okay, now we're gonna reach up and pull down. Okay, so reach up. A little bit more upper body motion then. And now Monique, the last version is she's going to do a running version. Okay. You've got to be particularly careful this one as if you whack your pointy elbow onto your quad, uh, that's going to hurt a real lot. <laughs> it might be the end of the session. So uh, either hit the side of your knee or keep a little bit clear. All right. Just a bit of a safety thing because if you've ever done it, a bit like slamming a barbell into your uh, chin, okay, it hurts, and uh, while pain is a good teaching uh, lesson, uh, we don't really want to do it, particularly don't want to get people hurt. So now we're doing half get-ups, and we're just going to use the, uh, I'll use a water bottle, that's fine, okay. <clears throat> Great core exercise, start with the legs extended, okay. to each side. The crux move is the roll up on, on your elbow, okay? Hip reach. We'll get around to showing the full get up later, but uh, that's okay. Um, probably use the weight here, Monique. So 45 degrees to me, feet towards me, seated um, twists. Okay, and 12 touches. And dead bug twists. You can use this with or without a weight. Many could do it without the weight. Okay, so we're lying on our backs. Dead bug, so hips at 90, knees at 90, feet at 90, and we're just reaching across. Okay. Beautiful. Makes it look easy. All right, so that was uh, 9 minutes 20, a little bit of talking. So we didn't do a lot of reps, so you could do either more reps at each exercise or you could go through that a number of times. I think you're probably better off doing 10 or 12 reps or doing it for um, 20 or 30 seconds personally. Um, either way is up to you. So thanks, Monique.